Space dock, you have control. Affirmative Enterprise. Enjoy the ride and welcome home. Enterprise confirms. The Space Dock Type Starbase is one of the most enigmatic installations in the Federation, though unfortunately there is very little canon that relates to the superstructure. Even so, it may possibly be one of the most brilliant designs from both a practical and a tactical standpoint. Again, a lot of this information is taken from what we see and what we can gather from the scant scenes, but there is a lot there. We do know the station can be used for both rest and relaxation, as well as refitting and upgrading various vessels. It has some form of engineering or power center, as well as docking bays and operations. The genius of the design is what its main use is for. The entire facility is designed so that vessels, whether they be massive ships like that of a galaxy class or a small runabout, out, to dock within it for repairs as well as refits. And all of this is done from the safety from within the installation itself. We don't know what powers the starbase, but it's most likely nuclear or fission reactors, or both. A matter-antimatter reactor, or warp drive as it's commonly known, really isn't necessary for the station because it really doesn't move all that much, and it's arguable that both fission and nuclear reactors are easier to upkeep. At least versus that of your standard warp core, but that's a discussion for another time. There are no armaments that are observed on the base, but I do somewhat wonder. Space dock, this is Star Launch all vessels. Launch all vessels. Sir, space dock doors are inoperative. All emergency systems are non-functional. Engage reserve power. Aye, sir. Starfleet Command. This is space dock on emergency channel. We have lost all internal power. We've seen the United Earth in trouble, but never really analyzed space dock during these trying times. And honestly, space dock hasn't really been used as a key defense. While we never observe it, it is possible that the base has point defense systems along with turret mounted phasers. They simply aren't out when we've seen it. I have been somewhat critical in the past of the fact that space dock isn't really ever used for the defense of Earth. And given some explanations, it probably could be easily bypassed. While I admit, I do think any attacker would probably just stay away from space dock and hit Earth from a different side, I wonder if that's what Starfleet is betting on. When we really take a look at space dock itself from a more nuanced perspective, and after me having a few years of contextual criticism under my belt, it seems to make sense that space dock is actually a great command and control center along with staging area. Ships can be repaired, prepped, and launched from the installation with the various admiralty working in tandem to defeat whatever threat is coming after the Federation. In the end, I think it's kind of genius. You have this starbase that doesn't seem to be a threat, but actually is the key to the defenses of the entire operation. We see space dock types as early as the 23rd century, and they served well into the 24th. Earth's space dock, which was Starbase 1 regardless of what psychotic admirals like to say, was under construction during 2257, this during one of the many wars with the Klingon Empire. It would be present during multiple confrontations, including losing power during a supposed attack of an unknown probe, two attempts by the Borg to assimilate Earth, and more. I wish there was more I could say on space dock, but there's not. We really can only guess at what its ultimate use is for, beyond, you know, keeping ships inside of it. I'll be honest though, I do love the fact that, even with so few pieces of information, we still garner a lot. The space dock type is rarely seen in the universe, it's rarely built or given to other planets, and that's for good reason. It's probably one of the most versatile and unique installations in the Federation. But these are just my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next. Lore Reloaded.